all I've got to say <laughs> is what sort of mate sends a bloke on a ride that he knows is going to end up costing him about 40 grand. <laughs> G'day guys, we're back down here at Harley Heaven, down in the uh, in the command centre with uh, with Pat and the guys. Quite a bit of work's been done since we were here uh, for the last episode. So I'm about to show you what we've done so far. We'll have a chat to Pat, see what we're going to do next. I know we've got to fit the bars today. Uh, Pat's got the, all the wiring done already, he's going to talk to, that, talk to us about that. But just to give you an idea what we've done so far, um, we've got the, uh, the pipe fitted. Nice set of Reinhardt's. The legend suspensions on at the back. Pat's also started to put some of these um, black caps and that on. But we'll talk to Pat in a second. Alrighty, so these are the bars, mate. These yep. are the bars that come. They are from uh, Chrome Works with a K, uh, and they are a buck, they're called buck fifty, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, buck fifty. They're like twelve inch. Yep. Special ones for touring. Got the nice wide bit on the bottom, so they come out fairing. Yep. So. Uh, you can see that your stock wiring has reached all the way down to here. Yep. And then I've extended it with these, which are available either genuine or aftermarket. They yep. just plug and, and extend to where we need them to go. Throttle control is long enough, we don't need to extend that. And also, we got to incorporate your Legend Air Ride yep. switch. Yep, so that goes up on the bars as well. Yeah, yeah? that becomes one of the um, handlebar clamps. Yep. That's so how you can have nice, easy access on the side. You got to uh, route the wiring through them yourself. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And you know you want it internal so it looks nice. And yeah. Like exactly. And you said you did something that you, you sort of pulled them apart and re resolded them, then put uh, some heat. Not these ones yep. on the tourer because yep. all this stuff's hidden under the fairing. Okay. Yep. But if we do a, a soft tail like this one over here. Yep. Um, if you look around behind the headlight, you'll see that we want it all neat. Okay. Yep. We don't want big um, and we don't want these connectors. Ideally, you don't want them to end up inside the bar somewhere because yep. it can be quite di tricky to move them through. Yep. And if you know disconnect one while you're trying to fit it, you've got to start all over again. Okay. So usually, um, we don't crimp anything. We all, if we're going to do some wiring, we always solder it, heat shrink it, cover it, protect it, so it lasts for a lifetime. Cool. Now, last time, last time we were down here, we we're putting the uh, get just about to finish the can. So that's all been done now. Yeah, the cans in. Um, did the push rods, adjusted everything up. Um, turned it over, make sure it's all good. Um, closed up the engine, and like you said before, fitted some of these cool caps yep. from Kuriakin. They're also available from other brands, and yep. chrome or black, and you can go as crazy as you want with them. You just keep <laughs> buying them and you keep covering everything. But yep. um, I'd just like to look at it, or it just finishes the bike off. Yeah, if you're going for a bit of detail, it just sort of finishes it off. Finishes it off. And we got the the the, uh, the pipes on. Yeah, Reinhardt mufflers. You stock air cleaners back on yep. after last time. Your exhaust has been reinstalled. Taking the cover off your spine wiring because we're going to wire your Legend Air Ride down to here. Yep. With all that, so it's all hidden and factory neat. Yeah, and remove the front fairing, ready to fit the bars. And then we'll dummy fit the fairing to make sure the bars are where you want them in relation to their inner fairing. Yep. For so different customers, prefer them closer or further up than you need. And, um, yeah, Sorry about that, I just got shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we um, just refit all this stuff here. This is all the wiring for the front, the radio, the entertainment system. So, it's a fair process to get it all done. Uh, yeah, it's actually, the front of these looks really scary, but yep. after you've done enough, it all fits really nicely. And if everything fits like Lego, you just kind of plug it all back in. And if you remember where it goes, it's not really a problem. You're good to go. Obviously, check everything before we put the... Nose cone back on. Yep. Make sure all the electrics are, are working and everything moves freely. And then the last thing we do is stick the back wing on. We need to tune your bike still. Yep. Quickly drop a tune in it. Yep. Check the tyres and we'll be ready to go. Now, one thing I want to ask you: a lot of people put um, with the the, the air cleaners, they put the the heavy breathers and stuff on. Do you actually need to put them on? Oh yeah, every, everything. Well. You don't have to. Yep. Everything helps, but so um, so. You, do you think I should put a, a a different air cleaner on it or not? Uh, yeah, it would help because yeah. we've got the the cam now. Yeah. It would definitely help. So 
you know, the, it's personal as well. You can get a high flow air cleaner that will hide under this cover. Ah, that's what I like to do. Yeah, um, yep. they'll make one that's a washable cotton one. Yep. An oiled one that will fit under there. Or you can go for a different style. And if you want performance, um, you just go for one of the really big pods with the washable air filter. Yeah, yeah. And oh. like, that's going to flow the most amount of air. Okay. I reckon yeah, if we get the, if we keep that, that I like the look of that. Yeah. Um, if we keep that and then uh, maybe put the... Um... Yeah, sometimes you can even get rid of some of this shrouding. Yep. So that you still have this cover. Yep. And the air filter's just a bit more open and, you know, this cover's got a restrictive little hole in it. Yep. That's done so they, they stay a bit quieter okay. from factory. But if you, you can start to take some of that stuff away... Can we, we, I reckon we could do that. Yeah, go upstairs if they've got one in stock. Yep. We can um, retrofit that. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> this is Mike. <laughs> Mike's uh, looking up some spare parts for us. 12 to 16. Let's have a look. So yeah, we can do one like that. Like a, a stock um, a stock inside. You want to keep the original cover? Yeah. Yeah, because today... Because there's these ones here. That's what we're yeah. after. Yeah, yeah. Because because that's that the cover stock. Got. Or I reckon that one. That one? Yeah. Yep. No awesome. All no. organised. <laughs> Cheers. No worries, mate. Thank you. No problem. These are the guys you see when you come in for service. Say hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All friendly down here, guys. Really nice guys. All right, so we're bringing in the big guns now. This is uh, <laughs> PJ. PJ, look out. He's like the SAS of uh, bar installers. <laughs> Just loosely put this on for starters. Yep. And then, we're, like I said, we'll put your inner fairing on and get the right clearance that we're after. And once we're happy, then we can um, talk these down properly and that's where they'll stay. Cool. Look at that. So that's a rough idea where they're going to be. They might be too far forward or back at the moment. Yep. We'll, um, we'll figure that out when we put the inner fairing on. So guys, the last the last bars I had were factory 47s. That were the 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 assault, which came with a bit of a point. These ones we've gone for a more flat. I just want to do something a little bit different, um, and uh, I really like the look of them. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'll list all the parts down below too. In, in the comments, I'll list all the parts. I'll list all you know what the exhaust is, what the uh, the suspension is, what the bars are, um, all that sort of stuff. I'll put all down in the description so you'll be able to. Look it up if you want to. But uh, yeah, I really like the look of these. So I went for 12s instead of 14s this time, just a, just a little bit lower to see what, what they were like. Uh, I like the 14s as well, but I just went the 12s this time just for just so that they're a little bit lower. Mainly because of, with the motorbike accident, I've got a sore shoulder, um, uh, a torn rotator cuff, and it actually hurts to extend my arm up higher. So with these, they're a bit lower and a bit more comfortable for me to ride. So that, that was the reason why I went from set of 14s, I went to 12, just to make my comfort a little bit better, that was all. All right, so we're gonna fit the inner fairing now. Just to see whereabouts the bar, we want the bar situated. So I'm gonna try and push them forward as far as I can to try and get a bit more arm length out of them. So other things that I'm gonna check for here is when I put this on properly, I'm gonna to have to make sure I've got clearance for my clutch line, my brake line. Yep. Um, you know, otherwise all the stuff you need. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna to get to that point, and I'll be like, oh. <laughs> no, I can't do it. So we usually like to ask the customer. You know, you know, we're not if we don't know them, and they could be five foot five, or they could be six foot six. Yep. So sometimes you just gotta make sure. So with the customer right here, I can get the go ahead. Where they got to be? High enough or too low? You know, I don't want to be touching, obviously. I nah. A little bit of clearance, so maybe about there. About there. Yeah, I reckon it's bang on. Looks about right, and like that's going to give you the maximum amount of reach that you want. Make sure that you know you'd hate for this to be rubbing on the fairing somewhere. Yeah. It's going to rub yeah. a big hole in it after a few thousand k's. It looks like it's clear. Yeah, and you know the bars are nice and straight on here. Just want to make sure they look the same on yes. the fairing too. Yep. Because it's no good to you if they're off, straight on the off, clamp. Yeah, but it, then when you're fairies riding, off center. one of your gauges is just skewed a tiny bit. Yep. So just have a little bit of a look to make sure there's nothing crazy going on. That looks pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, so you look at the gauges, you look at the speakers, yep. and the gaps underneath, and make sure that it's not doesn't look like it's off center or something. That looks spot on to me. I reckon that looks pretty good, and it's not blocking anything either. No. Which is really good. 
I've got to say, I'm loving how thorough you are. <laughs> I've got to be, otherwise <laughs> people keep coming back. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? You reckon they look good? I reckon they look bloody fantastic. Can't wait to see it all back together again. Should be great. That looks schmick. Can't press on it too hard, it's very soft aluminium. Yep. Matches that and that. That yeah. looks schmick. Nice. So you got a nice clean look. Beautiful. Much better airflow and performance. Awesome. Well, that's about it for today, guys. I'm going to leave Pat to it to finish it off. We're not, as you can see, we're very, very close now, but not far off. Pat just got a couple of little things to do now to get it all up and going. Obviously, you've got to do the tune and lots of stuff as well, so that's got to come up, but it's been another great day. Heaps got done. No worries. Wrapped. You happy? Yeah, it's coming good. Just got to do those little finishing touches. Little and we're done. One percenters, and it's all done. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back with the big reveal next episode. See you then. Yeah.